thanks to the tuning system of equal temperament, all keys sound the same. So why do we need different keys? Why not just always use C major? There are many reasons why we might want to choose certain keys instead of just writing everything in one key. Composers will usually want to have a key change during the music, so you really can't write everything in one key all of the time. But aside from the structure of the composition, there are technical reasons for preferring certain keys. For example, let's look at the piano. These are all the notes that are available to you diatonically in the key of C major. You'll notice that all of the white keys are pressed, while all of the black keys are still up. If we look at all the pitches that are available in the key of C sharp major, or D flat major, we can see that all of the black keys are in use, and two of the white keys in each octave. These two white keys would be E sharp and B sharp in the key of C sharp major, and F and C in the key of D flat major. So we can see that by changing the key, we get a different pattern on the keyboard that will feel different under our hands and allow us to accomplish some techniques easier. The key of C major is often an uncomfortable key on the piano, since we don't have any of the raised black keys in use diatonically to help guide our hands. Beginners might find comfort in the key signature of C major, since there are no sharps or flats that you have to remember while playing, but with experience, it is really no trouble to read key signatures with many accidentals. If we look at the guitar, we can see a similar idea. Here are all of the notes available to us diatonically in the key of C major on the fretboard. You'll notice that all of the open strings, E, A, D, G, B, and E, are all accessible in C major and are not chromatic. If we look at the key of C sharp or D flat major, just like we did for the piano, we get a similar pattern, but now none of the open strings are diatonic. Open strings on the guitar provide us with a lot of technical capabilities as they are playable by the right hand alone without requiring a finger to hold a fret with the left hand. In the key of C sharp or D flat major, we don't have the convenience of the open strings, and for reasons like this, guitar music is rarely written in keys like C sharp major, D flat major, A flat major, E flat major, as well as the relative minors. There are also transposing instruments, and if you use them, you will inevitably be using key signatures that differ from the sounding key signature. The way transposing instruments work is that they read the pitches in the music, but when they play those pitches on their instruments, they sound higher or lower depending on that instrument's transposition. An example would be the B flat clarinet, which sounds a major second lower than written. So if you want to compose in the sounding key of C major, you will have to give your clarinet the key signature of D major to compensate for the transposition. One of the main reasons why we have transposing instruments is because it makes it easier for a player of one instrument to play the entire family of their instrument, as other instruments in the family may be played with the same or similar fingerings for the same written note, even though the resulting sounding pitch may differ due to transposition. Aside from technique, it is necessary to consider how things sound at different keys. The key of A with the tonic A at a frequency of 440 Hz will sound different than the key of E-flat with the tonic at a frequency of 622 Hz. Although equal temperament ensures that the relationship between all diatonic notes sounds the same, the relationship between different keys is still noticeable, even to someone without perfect pitch. These differences are even more noticeable in practice when we assign notes to instruments in specific ranges or registers. For example, if we're in the key of A and we want to assign the tonic pitch A to the lower ranges of the contrabass, this note will likely be played on the open A string on the instrument. If we change the key to E, the tonic pitch, now E, can be played on the contrabass's lowest E string. This thicker string will have a different resonance than before when the music was in the key of A. This is a simple example, but it shows that the instrumentation itself can inspire specific choices of key, as in practice, every instrument will have different sound characteristics at different ranges. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and enabling notifications for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.